Hello, air. <laughs> I think it's so funny to say that. It's Jeffrey. It's ripe color. So this is the new moon through the end of the month reading. So does that mean I'm not going to do a reading next week? I'm undecided. So because today is the new moon, by the way, in Cancer. Um, and there goes the phone, like a guarantee. So the, the, the little mini message air is, um, what does it feel like? Opinions don't matter that much. Like it's even my own opinion, even your own opinion. It's like, what does it feel like? That's that's where to go. It's like, does it feel right? Does it feel exciting? Does it feel adventurous? Does it feel happy? Does it feel comfortable? Does it feel um, expansive? What does it feel like? Because if it doesn't feel good, then it's probably not the thing to do or the thing to go after or the thing to participate in or uh, get involved in. And I, I think the message is really more about, it's really about going within and trusting your own heart and your own instinct in your body, you know, instead of, well, this one said that and that one said this and this editor said that and I read this on the news and uh, my friend thinks that, so... That's the little message for the new moon. Okay, so this is for the 17th through the 31st, actually. And I'll see if I'm gonna do one from the 24th to the 31st, I'm not sure yet. Like that's what's, that's what I'm being told. So that's what I'm doing. Like, I don't, I don't mess with that no more. <laughs> one, two, three, here you go. So, uh, you know, I, I read for someone last night <laughs> and um, this, so this card is a seven, it's confidence, right? And um, it's kind of the card of the thief, but it, it, you know what it really is? It's like, take, I'm going to take my own thoughts and my own messages and run with them, but I'm not picking up stuff that I don't need. I'm not picking up all these other messages and thoughts that are not mine leave them behind. I don't need them. You know, I'm confident. And, uh, you know, if he's a thief, which traditionally he is, it's the middle of the day. He goes into the enemy camp, steals their ammunition in a red hat and red boots. It's not like, you know, he's being sly. It's like, no, I'm going to go and take what's mine in the light of day in confidence. And I'm, I'm going to run with it. Right. And then I get the page. And the page sees a new opportunity, a new opportunity for stability, a new opportunity for um, like financial gain, new opportunity for health, a new opportunity for um, spending his time wisely. Okay. But the thing is, it's like if I, in a way, isolate myself, you know, even from my own thoughts, you know, because sometimes I have a feeling about something or one does and um and then you talk yourself out of it because oh uh i can't do that i'm not talented i'm not uh whatever enough if the idea came to you it came to you for a reason it didn't it, you know it was delivered to the right place well this was really a message from my neighbor no it wasn't <laughs> and your neighbor would have got in their head um okay then we have the 10, the lovely fairy tale card. And this is really about it being emotionally satisfied. So that's the thing. It's like, does it feel good? Does it feel full? Does it feel comfortable? Does it feel satisfying? Does it feel exciting? Does it feel right? That's what to look for. There we go. Uh, you know, also, the, it's two tens. Tens are the end of something. So maybe it's the end or the beginning of the end of like, oh, I have to, you know, follow everyone's opinion or everyone else's idea. Like, but I have another idea. Um, the other thing about the Ten of Pentacles, it's, it's very foundational and it's really about um, its dynasty. So, you know, 
we can all create our own dynasty in our own lives. And it's, you know, it's not necessarily about money. It's about building this foundation of something that's really solid and true that's going to last for a long time, right? And that's full and rich. Okay. Yeah. I'm not really sure where my intuition is leading me. I'm not really sure, but something is telling me to go to this place or something is telling me to try for this job or something is telling me to uh, make friends with this person or something is telling me to uh, plant a certain plant in the garden or something is telling me um, to go to this place. Or So today I went to go buy something in Centro, which is not that far. It's about, I don't know, 15 minute walk, maybe 20. And uh, they weren't open yet. And, you know, so I'm walking around aimlessly. It's really easy to get lost. And, you know, I gave a, like a, a couple of pesos to some homeless guy, like really down and out. And I'm not saying, oh, I'm such a good guy. You know, I'm, like maybe that was the point of the walk. Maybe that, you know, the whole walk was not so much to go get what I wanted, but, but was to, you know, give somebody a little something. You know, I, we, we don't really know sometimes. It's okay. Yeah. I'm going to get really quiet with myself and I'm going to stabilize my thoughts and I'm going to allow spirit. And spirit is you. It's not outside of you, right? It's part of you. I'm going to, I'm going to commune with my higher self, with my guides and angels, with my higher self, with my monad, with my soul. And it's like, you know, what is it that I really want? What would make me comfortable? What would make me joyous? What would make me, um, I don't know, calmer, happier, wealthier, more tranquil, whatever it is you want, right? Because we all want different things. Some people, you know, peace of mind is the number one thing for them. And other people, it's like to acquire goods is the number one thing to them. And neither one is right or wrong right? It depends on the individual and where they're at in their life. And right. Because otherwise I'm putting my opinion on, well, that's not the important thing to do. It's like, but I want it. Right. So, it, you know, like I was telling somebody once that I want to make a certain amount of money. Well, that's too much money. Says who? For who? Maybe for you, it's too much money, but for me, it isn't. You know, you're going to impose your crap on me. Thanks. No, thanks. All right. Extended readings are available for members. It's $4.99 or $7.99 a month. Please join and uh, and make a ritual for the new moon. I, I'm going to go buy a candle. I forgot. I buy a candle. I don't have to, but I will. And it's like, this is my intent. This is what I want to begin. This is what I want to let go of. It's a new moon. It's a special day. There you go. Blessings.